Hey guys, this is Andrew again with an amazing video to help you people. Yes, I have Rossetti as a wallpaper. And I got it in my phone too. Yay, Rossetti. Okay, enough about it. Today I'm gonna help you with something I just discovered. Well, not discover I me. Mean, solved uh, like five minutes ago. Okay, so I have heard people having problems with they cannot save the game and today I'm here to help you okay let's go for the demonstration first we open up no cash GBA okay now I'm gonna go down the demon about that okay Demon done. Demon well done. Okay. So it's starting. Yes. Okay. It's coming back. Okay, I'm gonna press continue. And it says there is no save data. Please start a new adventure. Okay, I already started this game, but apparently it doesn't just say that. Okay. First what you must do, it depends on the game you have. You go to the emulation and em, the emulator setups. Okay. Here, right here, it says Nintendo DS cartridge backup media. Okay. So that's what you have to change so your game uh, can work uh, right. You know, it can save and all that stuff. So you can up, you can open up. Your, you can open your save file, your save data, and you can save again. Okay. First, uh, I found a website. And you can download games, DS games. Yes, it says Digimon World Dusk, but here it says Digimon World Down US. Okay. So, yeah, it's done, even though it says Dusk. But here you can see Corona Moon is from the DOM uh, version okay so here it says ROM information okay if you cannot see it I will tell you it says region United States release group uh, xenophobia publisher Bandai Namco games ROM CRC bunch of numbers and letters okay here's the way okay you might not see it but it says safe type Okay, it says, uh, okay, let me just copy this and put it in a notepad so you can read it. Okay, let's open a notepad. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to put the letters a little bigger. Let's see. Yeah, it should work. Okay, now you may read it. Okay, it says save type. You see? It says EE -E prom, something like that. Uh, and it says 5, 12 kilobytes. Okay, that's what you need. Yep. Okay. It says I have to put it in E prom, uh, 5, 12 kilobytes so it can save. Uh, let me just don't save okay this website uh, I will put in the description I will put in the description so you can download DS games and if you have DS game and you have this problem you just put here you put your region uh, whatever it is I'm from Puerto Rico so the games here are from the United States okay Nintendo DS games is all already stays in Nintendo DS games because this website is more, this is, as you can see, it says romsite.net. All Nintendo DS and GBA games information. Of course, you have Nintendo 64, Next, and GBC, but. Uh, so it will appear in Nintendo DS, select your region, and just put here the name of the game. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so we deal with that. Now we go here. 
Okay, and I'm going to change it. Okay, so I found out here, it says EEPROM uh, 0.5 kilobytes, EEPROM 8 kilobytes, and EEPROM 64 kilobytes. And it says 512 kilobytes. But that, don't worry, if your emulator doesn't have it, you just put the highest one. And it says EEPROM uh, 64 kilobytes. I put that, I put OK in the no cache emulator okay now I'm gonna put out uh, safe options and now I'm gonna go here wait my mouse is okay. now we're gonna go reset cartridge alright so it should restart and now I should now choose continue story okay continue and you see it worked. I'm continuing the story. It didn't let me later, but now that I change it to EEPROM 64, it does let me. You see? More and more videos I will make about uh, stuff that, you know, it troubles me and maybe troubles you. And yeah, I hope this video helps, uh, helps a lot. But uh, don't worry, I will put step by step uh, in the description, okay? So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, just put like, rate, and you want you can subscribe so you can stay updated to all my latest video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.